after re-recording the 2012 song. Britt Smith, the original Karma vocalist, claims J.O.J.O. Siwa has done nothing wrong. In the wake of accusations of plagiarism surrounding her new song, J.O.J.O. Siwa's predecessor is defending the singer. Britt Smith, the original artist of the song Karma, refuted claims made by Siwa that she stole the tune after the 20-year-old Dance Moms graduate released the music video and single earlier this month. My goal is to definitively correct the record. In a Sunday TikTok video, Smith said, J.O.J.O. did not steal my song. I just thought let me come on here and hopefully put an end to this because there's been a lot of talk and a lot of comments, and they just keep going," she said. After Miley Cyrus passed on the tune for her third album Can't Be Tamed in 2010, Smith collaborated with Rock Mafia and Timbaland to make the song and video for Karma's A Bitch, which she abandoned as her first single. Executives at the label urged her to choose Provocative for her 2013 release, but Smith eventually quit the business when the song didn't do well. I hate to see that anybody would think that I'm a part of any kind of bullying or anything like that," Smith said of Siwa. She was totally in the right to record her version. I was a victim of bullying in high school, so I understand how it feels," she said. I would never want to be associated with any aspect of that. I just want it to be known that J.O.J.O. hasn't done anything wrong. Smith's rendition has since made a comeback on social media, resulting in a viral video and a peak position of no. 8 on the US iTunes pop charts for the song beating out Siwa's version at No. 89. Regarding the reaction, she said, It has been a crazy whirlwind for the last week. The encouragement I've received and the statement from you all that we want to make her dreams come true 12 years later have been so lovely and encouraging that I've been somewhat encouraged to consider returning to this. Smith still has the tracks in my computer, so she intends to release her original EP on May 17th. After hearing the accusations, Siwa told TMZ, I didn't steal anything. I have no idea who Brit Smith is, and there is no such thing as theft. I haven't even seen it, so it's obviously not that viral," Siwa replied in response to the interviewer's explanation of Smith's viral popularity.